on request. I'm covering a few more of the Schlitz tap handles. And it's this is one of those things that's super cool about tap handles is if there's something that you're looking for, if you're wondering like, hey, did they have tap handles? What did they look like? You can do a little bit of research and you can find out. Some of the ones can be kind of tricky to find. So if you're wondering about anything, let me know. I'll see what I can dig up. I do have a lot of cool tap handles in my collection and then I can always reach out to other collectors. This particular one is a Schlitz dark tap handle. This element right here, so that is actually uh, painted onto or part of this top portion here. It says dark there. If we look on the side, we're looking for this element right here that indicates typically that this is a plastic element. Um, so that means this section here, uh, depending upon the beer or the brewery, a lot of times they'll do that either as a ceramic element or a plastic element. The plastic's going to be a little bit more durable. Uh, ceramic's going to be a little bit fancier. I do love their uh, finale up here, that just metal piece there. And then down here you have this nicely turned wood portion there. You do always want to check that out to see whether it's wood or plastic element. And then you've got an absolutely beautiful ferrule here. So just a really nice metal ferrule. That's the portion that attaches to your tap. And we'll do the double check here. This is the 3816 threading, but sometimes I'll double check and make sure that the machining is up to snuff and it is well done there. So absolutely great tap handle. I do like this because it's a little bit different than the standard slit. So that means that if you're trying to contrast um, stuff in your collection, so if you've got a couple of um, uh, white tap handles, get some, uh, get some dark ones like this and kind of get a good mix and design, but all depends upon your aesthetic.